Okay, so we're going to react to the Supergirl video that PewDiePie made, and I haven't watched it yet. I've seen clips of it, and I know he's like taking to make out the show. He's trying to be funny and stuff, but apparently he says some stuff that is, you know, kind of not very cool. So we're going to check it out. It's obviously the biggest YouTuber on YouTube. So he's talking about one of our favorite shows. He's talking about the DC TV show. He's talking about Supergirl. So we got to talk about it, right? I haven't watched it, so this is going to be like my genuine reaction to it. So, you know, maybe you disagree with what I think about it. I don't know if you watch Supergirl. Most of you guys who are watching this do watch Supergirl. So let's go in and actually check this out, see what's up, and see, you know, if he's being rude, if he's, you know, saying stuff that is not cool, basically. So, I don't, I, by the way, I think he definitely doesn't watch the shows, he's like speak, he's spoken out about how he doesn't like superhero stuff, so he definitely doesn't watch this, probably the clips he's going to show are out of context, but we'll have to wait and see, so let's go ahead and watch this, so, here we go. Supergirl bad, who funds these shows? Why are they sinking so much money into these TV shows that I don't understand why anyone would watch? I didn't even know this like show it. existed. See, he Apparently doesn't watch it. has been running for almost five years, and they went from 10 million viewers to now going on 1 million CBS viewers. CBS to CW. See, no context. <laughs> Let's go through some of my favorite scene from Supergirl. This is called the worst CGI in TV series. So he's just looking so at the worst yourself. like scenes. And the best part about this clip is that they use this as their promo. This is what they want to show what Supergirl looks like. We all know that, that the really CGI Supergirl. is not very Prepare good. Yourself. But that's because, you know, they have such low budgets. And yeah, this scene does have terrible oh. CGI. <laughs> but Whoa. it's been covered Whoa. before. This scene is like one of the worst CGI scenes, so I do agree. It's not a very good scene. Like, even just, even just the special effects are so bad that what the f is happening? One person does one thing and then there's another thing and then you can switch, switch it to another thing and it catches a bullet and then she changes for people. All right. I'll there's a lot that. going on. Evil space alien. Supergirl was actually construction worker. Why? No, <laughs> she doesn't even. She doesn't even. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. Let's watch it on slow speed. Oh, God. What a hot mess. Look at that. All right. I think I'm going to skip over this clip because we Dash talked about this clip watch. with Corridor Digital. Foolish. I wouldn't do that. But yeah, Supergirl sucks. It sucks. It really sucks. As you can no, see doesn't. by these numbers. Like, just He's just talking about the ratings when it. it's CBS to the CW. All right, so he doesn't know. here's a cursed video that I love so much. I shown this video before. It's superheroes without special effects look super silly. This is funny though. This is not right, like bad. Go. It's the Flash and Supergirl together. Maybe Cara Danvers is tougher than you think. <laughs> That's just what they have to do. Okay. It's what they have to We're do. We're not gonna win this today. Ah, oh, dang it! Better fly ah. away. Oh wait, what? She doesn't fly away. Are you serious? She doesn't actually have superpowers. This is crazy. Okay, this is funny. What is yeah. your superpower? This. Whoosh his hands in circles really fast. You don't want to mess with me, boy. You <laughs> no, I give really it to this is funny. If I was there, I'd be laughing this is funny. Right. Props to them, honestly. I could not do that. No way. All right, so here's with effects. I mean... Now I kind of respect the CGI team for making those goofy ass scenes look yeah. actually cool. That's so well, true. <laughs> uh, so great. I love it so much. Doesn't look less silly. All right, silly so far. I think it does. It's still kind of silly. Damn, this makes me realize how much real life sucks. It sure does. Thank you, Supergirl for nothing. Now, the reason that my attention was caught, peaked by uh, whatever sentence I have to say, you understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, recently, they did another promo, uh, I guess because their viewers are so high that they just somehow need more. So again, this is them showing oh. what's cool about the show. This is to get more people This was involved. the CGI the what, other what day. What is the budget? 
I with, don't know how much they're spending on this. With what are um, they fighting? When Wynn returned, and it was the second episode, and they had the uh, toy master, toy maker return, and you, he's talking about the clip where you see the sort of what's it called the the like flying monkeys yeah that cgi wasn't very good at all i know he's gonna sort of rip on it but again you have to consider and you have to put it into context that these shows have a really really low budget for the ambition that they're trying to get to so if you watch the show and you've got context you can look over stuff like that because you know that this is like what they can do they would do better if they could but it's hard for the amount of time that they get and also the budget for like the CGI and stuff obviously maybe it's too ambitious maybe that could be like a flaw of the show but you have to take it in its context so let's play on little toy figures yeah what is that? see you need context this is the toy man's book. Wow. flying monkeys that's so cool is this stream available in this location asking for a fandom wait there's an actual supergirl fandom even they have given man. up hope damn it must be really bad then i kind of want to watch supergirl now i'm not gonna lie this seems to make little hope island because this is where i was watching birdemic it looks like they're fighting bionicles what is <laughs> this is not the clip though the, the clip because clearly the writers is just giving up too they're just posting at this point Oh god. Alright. I'll give it to him this one. This is cringe. That's right. A character from Supergirl just yelled Leroy Jenkins. Unironically. In 2020. It might be time to cancel the show, guys. I'm sorry. I mean, I appreciate it. I'm not gonna <laughs> I literally, lie. That makes me yeah, laugh. That, that was super that cringy. That. I'll give but it to it's him. also very cringe. You very can't cringe. do that. You can't just do that. So Apparently, people are actually watching the show. Oh why, shit, he's looking at why, the Supergirl why? tag. It's like you can do anything, anything else. Why are you watching this? You can do it's anything good. else. I was trying to understand why people don't like Cy Supergirl, Cybergirl, whatever. Apparently, Supergirl has been like sneaking in social justice propaganda. What? And fans aren't happy about it. So I obviously I need to investigate. Oh what is it? What are, why are fans upset about this? We have this clip here. Sorry this is season that, one. Can you believe it? A female hero. This is the first episode. It's nice ever. for my daughter to have so. someone like that to look up to. Yeah, real nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, real nice. That character is basically me. When you really want to say, nah, that bitch. <laughs> what the but fuck, you have to man. go along. That's so That's weird. Not, yeah. Real nice. Real nice. On my planet, females bow before males. This is not your planet. That's kind of anti-immigration message, really. Why? So he's not just because he's alien, he's not allowed to be on the planet? That's not cool, man. She's not strong enough. Why? Because she's just a girl? Oh, they... He was watching it on no, like because she will actually die. slow playback. Why? Yeah. Why? So you're saying it's because she's a woman? Is that why? For a cool, powerful, kick-ass woman instead of a bunch of angry old white men. Hey, that's me. Shout He's literally me just scrolling awesome. through and finding like yeah, the moments that like I'm sorry. the fucking. Okay, basically, so there's this group of like people who watch Supergirl that don't like Supergirl who are like, oh, look at the politics and stuff. Basically, he's finding the clips that those people point out, oh look, here's a piece of dialogue, blah blah blah, and this is completely out of context, so, yeah, uh, it doesn't prove a point, like, there's no point here, but, what are you gonna do, what are you gonna do, let's just play on. Woman strong, man short, this is all women have, they have short or tiny penis, that's all they have on us, nothing else. I have Tabot making with it. <laughs> Also, why is he making that's how the writers went when they wrote that? <laughs> also, he was like, oh, what penis. video can I make? Nobody is calling me the most powerful woman in National City. I believe they are calling me the most powerful person. But it's true. Cat Grant is the most powerful person in National City. I know this is a minor detail, but clearly, like, her suit is making her look more buff, right? It could be kind of cool to get, like, an actual 
really strong woman like Bro. that korean chick from that video that i reviewed that i had to edit out because actual superman the guy that plays superman is actually really fucking buff like i'm not against the idea of a, of a super female is, is, uh, is oh God, he, this is so hard to say uh this is I'm kind of body shaming right superhero for men that empowers right? women i'm not against it i know that's gonna sound like a lie but i'm not against because he's like could really use your help why is she not like super do. buff why because i'm black that's not cool that's not cool he's black too why would you say that <laughs> What? Oh man. Is this really who you want to be? Testosterone driven windbags boasting about your big guns? Surely we don't need to measure. Oh, any. there it is. Penis small. Penis small. You're short and penis small. That's all they have. Yeah, well, your CGI stinks, Supergirl. I'm huh? confused. Get a this new is a team of CGI. It didn't weaken me at all. It might have. No. No, I was at full strength and you beat me. Yeah, because it's super good show. His strength measuring capacity must have been jammed or something. Because that's no way that would happen. Pfft, cringe. Man, this How is, is that cringe. Cringe. This is super Look, I had show. a one night stand. Did. Kara, it's horrible. No. I'm terrible. It's like, it's such a guy thing to do. I am a horrible, terrible guy. No, you're that's right. Only guy have sex one time. Women can't do that. Terrible... I am a horrible, terrible guy. <laughs> That pretty much summed it up right there. Guy bad, girl good. Well, Supergirl, uh, rating bad. Why don't you throw in another reference? How about, uh, how about some chocolate rating? Okay. So, this video was not as bad as I thought. He was, he said some things that are kind of just a stupid, like, you know, the reference to like how big Supergirl is, she's not like super buff like Superman, like that's that's not cool, but you know, he, I mean he was just trying to make a funny video, I don't know why he picked on Supergirl, but you know, I think yeah, the CGI is not very good, but you can you have to take that in context, you can't just come and you've not watched the show and you're like oh, Supergirl CGI is shit so that means the show is shit or something like that like or, or just look at a few scenes, a few lines of dialogue where it's talking about, like, uh, sort of males and stuff like that, and you're like, ooh, ooh. But really, when you look at it, it, it all makes sense in the context, and I don't know. I feel like he needs context. I think people who do videos like this, and people on Twitter especially, who find those clips of the bad CGI, and they're like, oh, it's a shit show, or whatever like that, you need to watch the show. I know probably you don't want to, but if you're going to comment on it, like, watch the show, give it some context, and then judge it from there. That's what I would say. So, yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know it's a bit different from normal, but hopefully you liked it. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.